Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And today we're, we're going to be in Tennessee and we're going to do some errands. <laughs> we are. <laughs> so today is not going to be, I guess, it's super exciting when it comes to, you know... So we're going to be going to Walmart and picking up our glasses because they're in. We went the other day and we got our eye exam and everything was good there. Mm -hmm. um, I got bifocals. <laughs> I think you did too. Yeah, one we pair. Both did. You guys always notice that Dawn's always taking her glasses on and off in the videos. And that's because of the bifocal, mm -hmm. right? And so I don't know how that they say it could take some time to get used to. Some people don't get used to them. That's what I'm hearing. So I'm kind of... You know, we're kind of nervous about that. But I got a package from Amazon. Now, this is not... Uh, this is a present that I got from my sister, Jamie. You guys all know Jamie. Uh, she grew up and loves... Well, let's get into this first. I can open it up. I can show you all. Meanwhile, my other pair of glasses... Um, the arm fell off, and I lost the other arm, and now I found the other arm, so. Yeah. Huh. Now maybe they can put them back together, and here's the screw in this container. I put it in there because it's so tiny, I don't want to lose it. But. Oh, wow. This is, she's going to love this. She'd love this, and she, she'd be okay with me sharing it with y'all. Well, at least the box didn't get this. Oh, it's cute. It's so bright. Rainbow Bright, it's the 40th uh, anniversary of Rainbow Bright. And uh, she's a pretty good size. Yeah, this is right here. It says 40 years of Rainbow Bright. Now, my sister has her original Rainbow Bright. And uh, it's seen better days. Uh, she's actually got two of them. Uh, they, they both have seen better days. Oh, you include stickers, Will. Include stickers? Yeah. You can collect them all. I yes. guess you can... It comes with stickers, and you can collect the rest of the dolls. Yeah. I think that white kid's cute, the, the white... Twink. Twink? Twink. Yeah. His name is Twink. And she had a horse, but... And uh, I think she's going to enjoy that, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I think so. I think she'll like it. Yeah, wow. She Actually, has her original ones from back in... I don't know what year. You know, <laughs> it's very good quality. Like, you can tell the doll is not... Like, it's, like, very good quality. It's, like... It's not as big as the original. Yeah. Right? Not as big. Pretty cool. I had to open it to make sure it wasn't damaged. Because I don't want to, you know, give it to her in the box. You know what I mean? And it's like damaged. And she, you know, I can send it back or get another one. But, um, yeah, you can find those on Amazon. And uh, 40th, 40 years. Can it I remember growing up. And I remember gro growing up in... And, and going with my sister to see the Rainbow Bright movie. You know, I yeah. didn't really, I was like, eh, you know. But I remember going to see it with her, you know. It's kind of like what big brothers do, right? All right. Let's go ahead. Let's get to Walmart. Let's get these new glasses. And we're back here at the Sevierville Walmart once again. We're going to head over and get those glasses. I need to get windshield wipers for the 300. And I think we're going to take a look around. I think we're going to look at some of the... Um, they have a lot of Smoky Mountain merchandise here. You got a pair of... I don't know what they are. You got Ray-Bans? Ray oh, I didn't know you got Ray-Bans. Huh. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. So they're going to adjust Dawn's glasses. And they look good on you. Now there's a bifocal in there, so. Yeah, a little eyeglass cleaning kit here. And I like this little bottle of spray there. That's pretty cool. That's great for like travel. I'll put that in my travel pack. Knowing you, you got something very colorful. Yeah, I like color. Yeah. I kept looking at the blue ones. I was like, mm, I need a little bit more color. So. Oh my goodness, they sell golf carts at Walmart. $8,000. Yeah, 
they sell golf carts at Walmart eight thousand dollars. Could you imagine? Oh, wow. Could you imagine driving around this during Rod Run? I like this. Yeah, I, I think it's not priced that bad. It's got a really. Yeah, it's got a back seat to it. I mean, it looks like it's a good good quality. Hmm. Yeah, it's got got some nice rims on her, and it's got enough room for four people. Two more off the back here. Yeah, it's got turn signals, uh, brake lights. It's even got a USB charging ports. Very nice aluminum rims. Yeah, it's even got a little <laughs> light bar, headlights. Comes standard with a roof windshield. It's got LED lights, 5,000 watt AC electric motor. Does up to 20 miles per hour. It's got 6.8 ground clearance. And it's got 24 month factory warranty. So it's got a two year warranty on there. I always like looking at all the Blackstone stuff. See what kind of little gadgets or gizmo. I do recommend getting these. They're just very convenient to capture, you know, all the grease and all that. But you know, I got all your camping stuff and some seasoning here. Rub Town Superbird. Hmm. Well, here are my new glasses, everybody. They're uh, progressive. I think it's the term. I call it bifocal. And they say it's going to take a while for me to get used to it. Uh, I got to I gotta get used to, like, looking down the reed and then looking straight. I'm not used to mine yet either. Yeah. And what do you think about that golf cart? It's really neat. They sell golf carts at That's Walmart? That's cool. I can see us driving around Rod Run. Oh, kind of fun. But yeah, it's my glasses. I don't know. Now those are Dawn's glasses right mm -hmm. there. Hmm. I got two pairs of glasses. These ones you'll see me wearing all the time. The other one is just for the computer. Um, the doctor had designed them or, you know, made them so that, because uh, seeing that I'm on the computer most of the day, uh, it's at a certain distance and it's supposed to make everything um, super clear for me. And then you got two pairs, right? Yeah. Now you you're gonna wear your pairs everywhere, and yeah. they they're also pro progressives too. Yeah. So if you look down, it's oh, gonna. Oh, I can't do it yet. You can't yeah. do it yet. It's gonna be it's <laughs> gonna be different. To uh, they say they'll get used to it up to, over time. Of course, Dawn's over looking at bird feed for her little her little feathered friends. I, th I think they might like this stuff here, Dawn. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they might like that. You can try a little bag of it and see if they like it before no, you buy the big bag. Bit bigger bag or what is nuggets? They're little. Um, I'm gonna try that one. Yeah. Well, these are the type of birds you do have in your feeder, mm -hmm. but they also have an ultra blend over here. And the one thing we didn't know about your birds is they like the expensive stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they don't like the cheap stuff. They they want the black sunflower. Yeah. Seeds. So you got the ultra this here. Is like a mix. Like you can eat it like raisins and. You got raisins. What is that? It's ultra, whatever it is. That's a raisin. The Polly Pockets even made a comeback. Oh, oh wow, it's a llama, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a llama. So Polly Pockets were like the little, like little figurines, yeah. right? Like like little dolls. We had some of them we were growing up a little bit. Oh, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I also noticed that they have trolls, right? Yeah. And down here they have My Little, My little Pony. I had a My Little Pony before. So all those toys that we grew up the kind of... Yeah, they try to make a comeback, right? And then I like this right here. <laughs> you could build your own engine. It kind of gives you oh, wow. an idea of how an engine works, especially if you're, you know, you're younger. Um, take a look at some of these games they have these days. I got this one here called Karen, and you're a lion sack of... <laughs> they have some pretty crazy, of course, cards against humanity. I've played that... Um, there's a couple other games here too that I found that were kind of interesting. Would you rather? And new windshield wipers for the 300. 75 inch TVs for under $500. And for $800, you can get an 85 inch TV. And now I know I don't <laughs> have a, a room big enough to put that in. I think you gotta sit so far from it. I love that mural there. You got Sevierville, you got the Gatlinburg Space Needle, the Pigeon Forge Trolley. 
Great Smoky Mountains in the background. And they have everything for a Tennessee fan here. I got Sevier County and Pigeon Forge High School sports team shirts here. Not badly priced, around $13. Walmart is a great place to come to find your souvenir tea, usually at good prices. They got lots of great Gatlinburg t-shirts and they even have Bigfoot <laughs> holding an American flag. It says Great Smoky Mountains. He's giving you the peace sign. Plant kindness and grow love. Yeah, they that's. Yeah. Oh, it's like the same. But they. Blue Ridge Parkway. Oh, Pigeon Forge Speed Shop. That'd be great for the rod run that's coming up pretty quickly. Here's another rod run tee, and it doesn't have a date on it, so you can wear it every, every single rod run. Yeah, Cades Cove. Cades Cove Loop. Uh, take me to Lynchburg. I don't know. I know. I, I saw it like I thought it was Lynchburg, right? Like Lindbergh, right? Uh, take me to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Yeah, moonshine. So they have a lot of great T-shirts right here at Walmart. They even have a T-shirt for Douglas Lake. Oh, that's a pretty cool hat there for $17. So these are the new glasses. <laughs> it's going to take me a little bit to get used <laughs> to them. Just a little bit blurry. I think that's normal, though, when you first get a new pair of glasses. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Now I only got the one pair, so hopefully I don't have problems. If I like the, the uh, progressives, I guess they call them. Um, I'll get another pair down the road. Yeah. Walmart was busy. There's a lot of folks in there. Of course, it's still spring break. Uh, yeah. Now, at the end of this week, uh, it, it's going to die off until Rod Run, right? So you have a little bit of quietness before Rod Run. Um, but, uh, yeah, so now I think what we're going to do is we're going to go get some lunch. Yay. Yes. Today for lunch, we're going to have Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers. Whoa, the wind, wind is crazy here. The weather's been kind of, eh, 10.30 to 10 p.m. Frozen custard originated in New York's Coney Island in the turn of the century. So the music is real loud and it's real busy and there's really hardly any places to sit. We're going to take this out to the car and that way it'll be quieter and we can really, you know, get into this. It is spring break still here in the Smokies. It was packed and there's music <laughs> loud and, and I was like, eh, fight the music and you know what I mean? And we have to sit in the center of the place. We couldn't be in a booth. We decided to eat in the car, right? And here it is. So I ordered the traditional Freddy burger with the fries, right? Yeah. We also got turtle sundaes, right? Smalls, minis. They call them minis. And they're actually pretty big for a mini. Anyways, um, got the fountain drinks, right? Oh, we also got a thing of cheese curds. Freddy's reminds me of Steak and Shake. Yeah. It's got... Pretty close to the same type of menu. And when I walked in, I go, I, I felt like we were in a in a steak and shake. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. First, let's take a look at these fries. So yeah, it's, it's a shoestring fry. It's Dawn's, right? We'll try one of those for the first time. We've had their um, their shakes in the past, but we have not had any of their food here. And I want to see what this is like. It's a seasoned fry. Season fry. Shoestring. They're good. They're good. There, there, there's a butt there. What was the butt about? 
Because they're shoestring now. You don't like the shoestring? It's a little bit different. Yeah. But they're still um, good. I'm losing them all inside the car. <laughs> <laughs> I think I dropped one too. I'm with you about the the shoestring fries. I don't know if I'm, a, I'm I, I think it's a personal preference. I like the little bit bigger fries. But yeah. Huh. Yeah. I mean, it, it's good, but it's okay. just, I don't know. You're right. I'm eating. You're right. So. right. And everything in the bag is upside down. So all the, oh, no. there's fries in the bottom. There's cheese curds all over the bottom. Um, these are, whoops, see, they are falling out. Do you need a fork for that? No, no, I won't need it. And this here is the cheese curds, right? Now, Culver's has got a really good cheese curd. Let me see what they look like. I guess you just, it kind of looks like a tater tot. <coughs> I, I it's a cheese curd. It's like mozzarella, you know, or cheese. Right? Hot. They're hot. Mm -hmm. I do like mozzarella. Oh wow. Oh wow. They're they're really really good. good. Really good actually. Wow. So I really like these. It's really soft, um, and I love the uh, the breading on the curds. Wow. I can't stop eating them. They're that good. Wow. I'm trying to eat the debris off the bottom of the bag. Okay, so... I'm not sure, but this... There's a burger here. I'm not sure... I'm sure that... I got the California steak burger. So... Okay, so they, one came in a box, one comes in a bag. I'm assuming yours is in the box, but we'll, we'll find oh, out here. And there's a bunch of debris at the bottom. I'm going to open it. Mine don't have no tomato on it. Oh, yeah, it does. So there's onions. Now, yeah, when you open that's a lot of onions. <laughs> when you open that, I got a big whiff. I mean, a, a huge whiff of onion. And let me go ahead and see That's what... just too many onions. Okay, so let's get a close-up look on this. I think this is my burger. So the burger is a decent size. Uh, the be the steak patty are real thin, kind of like they are at Steak and Shake. Uh, the onions are very, very um, potent. I mean, I can smell them mm -hmm. a mile away. I mean, um, too bad it wasn't... Uh, garlic or we can keep the vampires away right <laughs> you want some of my onion to go with that burger dawn got like i got the california style you one, got like the i want to be a little bit different they should have called it the um the onion style for yours so, look apart. at how big that is put the up there let everybody see that it, it's falling apart i don't know how to hold it look at the size of that thing it's got like thousand island right because like dressing yeah um tomato lettuce uh, two patties, right? All their burgers come with two patties. Extra pile of onions. Two pieces of cheese, right? <laughs> it's falling apart. I'm and it's say. huge. And that's mine. I just want to see that. Now, the bun is really soft. I like that. The bun is really, really soft. At least you got pickles on um, yours. The um, the steak is, like, bigger than the burger. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's, like, it's huge, right? Which is cool, right? Mm -hmm. You know that old lady from Wendy's? She used to say, where's the beef? Well, mm -hmm. you can see the beef on this. Okay, let's get into this. I think mine tastes like a Big Mac. <laughs> With onions. Mm. I think I should have got yours. <laughs> the burgers are seasoned. You can taste like that Lowry's. It's salty. I know. Yeah, it's a salty. Um, and I've been watching my salt intake. And... Um, you can tell there's a, there mm -hmm. that, that, but the seasoning is really good. It's pleasant, you know. Um, I like it. I'm envious. You got to eat pickles. Pickles look good. You want to buy mine? Yeah, you can have some of mine. <laughs> I should have got his. Sure, sure, alike, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm. Okay. I'm so, not buying a pickle. So, this is like a Big Mac. Yeah. With the extra onion. <laughs> I would just suggest to stick with the regular, the regular Freddy Burger, right? Hmm.
Mm, I like that. You either get a tomato on the California style with no pickle, or you can get that with pickle. Now they also, a Big Mac sauce. They also had a patty melt in there, and I was looking around the dining room, and a lot of people had that, and that looked really good also. Um, they also have like a chili cheese fry. I see her, you know, like, you know, chili and cheese on the fries. That looked good as well. It's making a mess everywhere. I like the pickle. Yeah, I like that pickle. The pickle is like a like a deli style pickle. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it's really good, very pleasant. I like they put a lot of cheese on it. A lot of folks have been asking us to do Freddy's for a while, and the one thing I noticed that. A lot of folks have mixed feelings about Freddy's. You know, some folks say, wow, it's the best burger they've ever had. And then some folks are saying, oh, it is like the worst burger I have ever had. So there's very strong opinions about this. I would say it is Mine really is messy. good. I, yeah, yours I would not get. <laughs> I <laughs> Just saying. Have. I mean, they, I'm kind of a person who likes a lot of sauce on things. But they, but they really everything. like drenched it. <laughs> I wish this. they wouldn't. Have... Um, but I do. I like it. I like the burger better than Steak and Shake. I do. I do like the burger. You know, with the patties being real thin, and them being be, being two of them, there's quite a bit of meat on it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not bad. If I ever do this again, I, I would probably try the jalapeno one. Help, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing I noticed, they do have a, um, they have a sandwich with a lettuce wrap, right? So they have a, a keto friendly, right? Is what that would be. Yeah. With the, um, with that. Yeah, I won't get that one again. <laughs> Don's not. I well, it's a good burger, right? Yeah. It's just that you didn't, you got, they like drenched it in sauce, right? Too many onions to my sauce. I went into this review thinking I wasn't going to like it. Um, in fact, we kind of steered away from it because I I had this feeling I wasn't going to like it. The burger was amazing. To me, the fries were average, right? I mean, you know, what can you, you know, I do like the seasoning on it. Mm -hmm. Now we got these Sundays to go with it. So the only bad thing about waiting to the end is that the Sunday, uh, the turtle Sunday, has melted a little bit. Now we did have their. I have it in a second. Um, we did have their custard before, and the big thing we noticed is it melted. And this here is melted. And I think the last time we had it, we didn't we didn't hate it, but we didn't like really liked it either, right? So let's give it another try. I got the same thing he did. We have to go into this, though, thinking that it's going to be a little melted because we did wait until the end. And, um, you know. Oh, wow. So you got the caramel. Uh, looks like it's what the... Uh, Cherry. Um, so it's got caramel. It's got what pecans. Mm -hmm. uh, pecans in it. Um, it's got a cherry. I ate my cherry. You already ate the cherry. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, mm, okay. Look at that. All that ooey gooey goodness. All that caramel. What is it called? Turtle Chocolate. pecan? Yeah, it's a turtle. Yep. Pecans. Um, oh, I found the chocolate and caramel. It's going to have caramel and chocolate. Mm -hmm. Look at look at the amount. Okay, let's try. Look at how much like um, caramel and and chocolate. They, they really loaded it up, man, for... This is a mini. This is the smallest size you can get. So what is a large? That's a lot in the mini. A mini is plenty enough for one person. Just some errands today, some running around. Uh, we shared a little bit of it with you. We are getting ready to... Uh, to do a bunch of great videos coming up, some fun trips, you know. So stay tuned for that. And that's it, Ron, right? Mm-hmm. That's it. Well, folks, if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you miss this upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, bye everyone. everyone.